In the home menu tab, if you look to the upper right hand side corner, you have a game settings button. Here you can change the basic info of your game. For example, you can change the, the title of the game. You can change the description of the game. You can fill out the questionnaire. So Roblox can determine um, the age recommendation for your game and you can upload your game icon. In the communication tab, you can turn on your microphone and your camera. The permission tab, you can set, um, you can set to see who can play your game. So for example, you can make your game private for yourself only or you can make it uh, available to the public or for only your friends could play your game. Monetization, you can create the batches and you can set up other stuff in here. For example, private service. In the security tab, you can allow HTTP requests from another server or you can enable studio access to API services. You're going to need to have this turned on if you want to use data stores inside your game. So we're going to go over data stores later in our future tutorials. And also this is where you're going to allow third party teleports. So if you want to allow other people to teleport from their game to your game, you're going to need to have this one turned on. In the avatar menu tab, you can select which avatar type is going to be in your game. So for example, right now, this game only support R15, but you can change that to R6, or you can let the player decide what avatar they want to use. So basically, R6 is a, a character with only six different body parts. R15, the character has 15 different body parts. In the World menu tab, you can set the jump power. So the default is 50, and you can set the walk speed. The default is 16, but you can change those to anything you like. Okay, so those are just some of the more commonly used game settings that you would set inside Roblox Studio.